here goes nothing. Hello and welcome. It is late November and it has finally snowed here in Maine. And although I have enjoyed the lower heating costs of a relatively warm month, I have been really antsy to ride Budisha, my Dolomite ALX in snow. I bought it last spring and I have had lots of fun trail riding. But all the while, snow was on my mind. Doesn't that sound like a country western Christmas song? Anyway, I used to ski and snowboard back in my halcyon youth. But man, my knees and increasing lift ticket prices put an end to that a long time ago. Now this is not my first Dolomite, as I previously owned a steel-framed 2018 Dolomite. I modified the living daylights out of that bike and I had all kinds of fun riding it year-round. I especially enjoyed riding it on snow when there wasn't much else for me to do outside. But it was a heavy bike, and when Mongoose brought out the ALX, hey, I just jumped right on that bandwagon. And as an aside, I sold the steel Dolomite, and I knew I had sealed the deal when the buyer came back from his test ride grinning from ear to ear. Fat bikes are that much fun. But at the end of the day, it's not how a bike looks or any other metric that matters except how much fun can you have riding it? Well, not surprising. There's only one way to find out. So, let's go for a ride. Here we are back at the Hallowell Reservoir once again. I like these trails because they're accessible. They're nearby where I live and they're open year round to all users hikers, and dog walkers, and incidentally I've become somewhat familiar with a couple who have a pair of Labradoodles, and those are such fun dogs, they're really good natured. Uh, Cross-country skiing is popular, as is snowshoeing, and in the wintertime, fat biking. Ta-da! Now, the thing about the Hallowell Reservoir is that, although it's open year-round, the trails are not groomed. So sometimes you end up breaking trail. But that is fun in its own way too. And as you can tell already, this ride today is not a stealth ride. Not at all. It sounds like I'm riding over cornflakes or something. It's actually just those frozen leaves and this semi-frozen snow slush combination. I'm sure there's a technical name for that. I just call it crunchy snow. What do I know? And the trails are, as you can see, somewhat hidden by all the fallen leaves and the snow. Luckily for me, I've ridden here often enough that I'm pretty familiar with where the trails go. Once in a while though, I'll ride them in the reverse direction that I usually do. And it's almost like riding a new trail sometimes. Anyway, as I often say, I love riding all sorts of bikes. But I especially like mountain biking and trail riding. The reason for that is not that I don't like road riding, I do. I mean, <laughs> I love that speed you get going downhill. But I do not care for some of the abuse from drivers that we get. Stuff like coal rolling, or worse yet, idiots who are either talking or worse yet texting on their cell phones. Just not my idea of a good time. Out here in the woods, any injuries that I get are my own darn fault. Can't blame them on anybody else. And my shins have the scars to prove it. Another thing I've found is that mountain biking, other riders that you meet on the trail, are always friendly. I have not had a bad encounter with other mountain bikers as long as I've been doing it and I wish I could say the same thing about road bikers. Regarding this bike I have to say it might be my favorite but please don't tell my others they won't take it well. 
with a two by drivetrain and no suspension it is after all a pretty simple bike and in all things I do favor simplicity and for some reason which I find very difficult to put into words I feel super confident on this bike more so than I do my others I mean I have a 29er a 27.5 hardtail and a 27.5 full sus and I really do like them I do but they ride very differently from the fat bike and there's just something about the ALX that checks all the boxes for me now it has been suggested to me that I go one by with external bearings to save weight well there's no need for that with the current 22 tooth and uh, I believe 36 tooth chain rings and the sealed bottom bracket well those just suit my needs just fine and I do like that the 22 tooth lower chain ring does facilitate climbing it's really good for that and to be completely honest and without going into unnecessary detail I would be better off reducing my weight than the bikes and we will leave it at that now on a different note I do just love being in the woods at any time it's always peaceful and regardless of the season there is beauty to be found everywhere you look but this is particularly true in the winter I think now since I don't ski and snowmobile and all that stuff fat biking in the winter gives me something to do outdoors and when you're out in the middle of the woods and it's so quiet this time of the year because you know most of the birds have headed south and the ones that stick around well they're pretty tough little guys they can make as much noise as they wish right now there's not a lot of snow on the ground but in the middle of the winter the woods will almost certainly become transformed by snowfalls and that's really something to experience when you're out in the woods and there's newly fallen snow or snow that is in the act of falling the sounds are muffled and features like rock walls and fallen logs their outlines become softened and not necessarily blend into the background but become less prominent without getting too poetic about it I find that winter woods encourage a sort of Zen like state of contentment in me it just lets me sort of turn my brain off as it were and for the duration of the ride the world's problems aren't part of my problems I really am looking forward to our first significant snowfall and anybody who knows me well it will be surprised to hear that because I was anti-winter for so long until I started riding fat bikes and I am looking forward to much more trail riding all four seasons but especially in the winter on my Dolomite ALX if you enjoyed this video there's a link to the Dolomite ALX playlist below left and there's a link to another video that I think you'll enjoy as always thanks so much for watching seriously I appreciate your time goodbye and have a great day